I'm the best dancer in the world. Jesus Christ, this is like... <laughs> okay, I'm done! I'm done! That's it! That's it! The game's over! I'm done! Well guys, Dark won the vote, and um, I hope you enjoy my adventures as a, as a vampire. I actually really enjoyed recording this, like the most fun I've had in a while, so I hope you enjoy it too. And uh, let's get stuck into the video. Hi guys, it's Magaminx here. Hope you're doing really well today. We are playing Dark, as voted for by you. This is a vampire stealth RPG action hybrid thing. And uh, apparently it didn't get the best of reviews when it came out, but uh, I think it was kind of fun. And I want to give it a whirl. And you guys seem to want to give it a whirl too, because like at least I think 55% of you voted for this, which is quite a huge number of you in title. Um, I'm looking forward to playing this myself. I do like vampire stuff, like back when I was a kid I was a bit of a goth and when I was a kid, back when I was a teenager, which is quite a long time ago, I was a bit of a goth and um, I don't know, I think this looks pretty awesome. So uh, let's jump in. Also this game has a fucking badass soundtrack, I'll say that now, I love it. it takes me back to the 90s. Anyway, let's begin. Did you know that enemies are able to block your attack if they are aware of you? Interesting. I have a can of Diet Coke here. I've run out of Pepsi. It all began in darkness. I awoke to a world of pain. A throbbing in my head pounded on my temples. Suddenly I saw a white light approaching me. I saw a human form within that light. An angel. The shining light radiated something soothing. Eric. The angel spoke to me. Eric, it's time. The angel disappeared and the hammering became more intense. Faster, slowly my sight returned. A rhythm and different sounds which slowly coalesced to become music. The darkness slowly gave way to blurry surroundings. I focused on regaining my orientation. All around me I could see people, bodies twitching, moving to the rhythm of the music. I felt sick, but at least I could move again. I needed to run some water over my head. That would do me good. Our uh, character seems to be a little bit depressing. I can tell that I'm going to have fun with his dialogue. The marker shows where you need to go. The music, I love the music in the background here. Yeah. Yeah, I could barely stand and the nausea was getting stronger. Gathering the last of my strength, I dragged myself on. Day 721. I've been trying to make my way to the toilets for around an hour now. There were people making out by the door. I didn't know where to go but I followed the floating marker in front of me. My destiny awaited. Anyway, um... We're some dude. I don't even know our name at the moment, but um, I'm guessing we will eventually find out. Ah. Oh. oh yeah, my hair is. Oh god. Eric, your assignment is waiting. Who the hell are you? Eric. Eric Bane. <laughs> really? The name shot through my head like a bullet. It was my name. Other memories. Nothing. The darkness in my head veiled everything. Okay, so his name is Eric Vane. I think that's the, the funniest surname I've heard the in a while. The angel was gone, and so was the pain. It was time to find out who I was, or what I was doing here. Chances were the bouncer had seen me come in. Maybe he could shed some light on the subject. Okay, well I'm guessing- Get out of my face! We don't need an audience. I'm gonna stand here and watch you then, douchebag. Yeah, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Anyway, um... I'm guessing we're like a newly born vampire or something, or we're a vampire with amnesia perhaps, we'll soon find out. But I did see the bouncer gentleman, that's some really cool graffiti of a chainsaw, that's awesome. Anyway, um, bouncer, hello, can you shed some light on the subject please? Hi. Yeah? What do you want? I wanted to ask, I couldn't get another word out. The sight of his weapon woke some kind of memory. Stop staring at his dick. I guess we did get back. That certainly looks... Hey, hey man. You okay? 
Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I'm doing fine. Did I come to the club alone, or was someone with me? No idea. My shift had only just begun. My boss was watching the door before that. Where can I find him? Well, he's sure to be hanging around here somewhere. Ask at the bar for Tom. That flashback had felt pretty damn realistic, even if I didn't completely understand it. What should I make of it? Um, why was I so aroused by I made my way weapon? back into the club to find the head of security. Maybe he would be able to help me. You talked over me there. I do not appreciate that, Mr. Eric Bain. Johnny Merrick, I can't remember already. Anyway. Wow, this is a quite a realistic club, to be honest with you. It reminds me of uh, the one in Bloodlines. The second one. I can't remember what it's called. Maybe... I can't remember what it's called, even though I played it a lot. Confession, maybe? I don't know. And the music is pretty cool. Anyway, let's ask at the bar. I like the cell shot. To be fair, so in principle, this game looks awesome so far, and I love the pools of blood in the club. Anyway, bar lady, help me. Hi, I'll have a. You'll have a Bloody Mary. House style. Who said I wanted a Bloody Mary? Believe me, I know exactly what you want. I was in your Do you know where Tom is? Tom? Yes, I do happen to know where Tom is. Head upstairs and you'll find him. Good luck. Okay, catch you later. Yes. See you later. Why don't you ask her who you are? She clearly knows you. The stuff tasted disgusting and it had a strange aftertaste. However, my body saw it differently and a pleasant warmth spread through well, me. Where's clearly blood? Everyone here is probably a vampire, like literally every single person. Anyway, let's uh, have a look in here, shall we? Oh god. You must be Tom. Hey man, you okay? Have we met? Not directly, but don't we all know one another of somehow? Of course, that's vampires. I mean, we're practically one big family. I have no idea what you're talking about. Shit man, you really don't know, do you? My memory is a bit foggy at the moment. <laughs> sure, whatever. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. Look, we can help you, man. I mean, I know someone who can. Follow me, dude. I'll take you to her. Let's go. We're you gonna follow this wonderful guy? Out of here. Hello, man. Come on. Come on! Hey, man. You were really lucky to meet me. There's some of us out there that are real bad news, dude. They would have just ripped your head off or something. Don't worry. We're almost there. By the way, Rose, she owns the Sanctuary. I guess this nightclub is called Sanctuary. Uh, it's a nightclub for vampires where we all hang out. This all makes perfect sense. I feel like I'm perhaps going to be in an Anne Rice novel, Rice novel, whatever her name is. Jesus, can you walk any slower, dude? Jesus Christ. I like that chick from before. Yes, it is. I am a genius. Hi, Tom. I see you brought a guest. Nice to see you again. Was the drink okay? Hey, Rose. This dude has, like, got no idea what's happening. <laughs> Can't remember a damn thing. And he's here all alone? Looks like it. Hello, I'm still here. Could you tell me what's going on? I have no idea what you're We're talking gonna have these about. You're a... Vampire. A vampire, like Tom and me. <laughs> yeah, right. Thanks for the drink. And no offense, but I'll just <laughs> be going now. Tom, show him. Hey, neat trick, man. What? You automatically resorted to your vampire abilities out of pure reflex. Not bad. You seem to be a natural. Thank you, Tom. I'll take care of our guests now. You can go back. Yo, later, man. Tom is my hero. He's officially my favorite character. So? My name is Eric. Eric Bain. Well, Eric, I'm Rose. I hope our little demonstration convinced it's come to you. I don't think quick. I have any alternative. That is correct. Right now, you also have a much bigger problem you need to take care of. You are not yet a fully-fledged vampire, and that has some drawbacks. Uh, oh, what a choice. Dialogue decisions. Jesus, guys, didn't expect this. Uh, let's go for full-fledged vampire. 
How come I'm not a full vampire yet? If a vampire drinks your blood and kills you in the process, you will turn into a vampire yourself. However, that alone does not complete the transformation. First, you have to drink your creator's oh, blood. Oh, wonderful. Only then will you be a full-fledged vampire. Great. And since I don't know who made me a vampire, that's kind of a problem. Exactly. A vampire doesn't just create another vampire for no reason. We try to hide our very existence from humans, and every newcomer increases the risk of being discovered. Your creator put us all at risk when he just left you behind. No vampire would willingly call down the wrath of all the others upon He's himself. He's a dishpire. I suppose something must have happened to him. And what happens if I don't drink his blood? You really don't want to know. I have no idea exactly <laughs> what happens when someone becomes a vampire. But if you do not get the right blood, your brain starts to deteriorate. Right. You will become more and more of an animal until you finally lose all of your humanity. We call these pitiful creatures ghouls. Believe me, you want to avoid becoming one of those creatures at all costs. Do I have any options? Ah, yes. The blood of an ancient and powerful vampire can theoretically replace your creator's blood. But I'm talking about vampires that have been in the business for several that decades. That is ancient. You won't find anyone like that in the sanctuary. But I do know of someone. Okay. His name is John Blooming. He's the director of the Harding Museum downtown. Okay. Blooming is not a nice man. He's not likely to give you his blood voluntarily. It's not as if I have much of a choice. That is certainly true. However, you should talk to Tom before you head out. He can give you a few tips. Okay, well, I guess we better go and talk to Tom. My cool dude, Tom. Where are you, Tom? Tom? Oh, you're back. Oh, hang on. Why have I got two markers? I have two markers. What's this one up here? Don't know who you are, but let's talk to you anyway. Hey, you're Eric, right? How does everyone know me? I don't have much time. Me? As you can see, I'm kind of busy. Uh, museum? Can you tell me something about the museum? Not right now. Sorry, I'm busy. You're just jiggling up and down and doing literally fuck all. Okay, can I dance? Hang on. See, I'm the best dancer in the world. Jesus Christ, this is like... <laughs> okay, I'm done! I'm done! Sit! Sit! The game's over! Done! Okay! <laughs> okay, awesome. I'm really enjoying this so far, I must admit. Um, should we have another drink or should we go and talk to Tom? We may as well explore all the little outcomes, so it's... Uh... Hey, you're Eric, right? Tom told me about you. <laughs> I'm April, April Kruger. If there's anything I can do for you, just let me know, okay? Uh, museum. Let's order a drink. Give me a drink. Sure thing, Eric. One drink coming up. The only thing they serve in this club. Must get a bit boring. But they have literally, look, as well, look. This is amazing. But this is the same drink! And nothing else on the bar, pretty much. That's amazing. I guess it would be true as well, eh? Okay, let's uh, head up here and talk to... Uh, the lovely Tom. Hey man, everything okay? Yeah, it's amazing, don't worry. Tutorial? Rose said you could teach me something more. Not really teach, you know, but I got an idea about how you can train your intuitive reflexes. There's a few thugs hanging around out front of the club. Maybe you could check it out. Okay, I guess we'll start the tutorial. Sounds good to me. All right, man. Good luck. Seeing as I have no idea how to play this game, I think it's pretty important that I teleport outside the club. And, uh... I found myself in a deserted alley. Tom had sent me here for training. Something was wrong. I staggered down the only way I could find. Day 797. I've been walking these streets for a while now. For some reason, I pulled my hood up. If you enter an opponent's field of vision, your vampiric powers will prevent him from noticing you immediately. Instead, the visibility indicator will appear and begin to slay turn red. Once it's completely red, your opponent will finally notice and turn aggressive. Okay? So this is a stealth game. I'm not very good at stealth games, just so you know. Hey man, you look pretty messed up. How about it, sucker? You got some change? We're about to kill some high That's right, man. Give us your money, or you are so toast! I felt anger rise in me. 
A desire to hurt someone, and a craving for this blood. This is beautiful! Uh... Stop that asshole! Oh, I'm feeding. So he's gonna come back as a ghoul, right? I couldn't explain what had just happened. Had I just killed someone and drank his blood? Yeah. Come back. Come back. Oh, it's south now. I'm telling you, the bastard done Mikey tore his fucking throat out. <laughs> okay, man, calm down. We'll keep you safe. If he comes over here, we'll take him out. Okay, we got guys with guns now looking for us. Wonderful. Why did you have to do that in public? Couldn't we just kill them both? Okay. Target a piece of cover and press left mouse to hide behind it. As long as you hold left mouse, you'll remain in cover. Okay. All right, that's no, right mouse. I was completely wrong. Uh, okay. Seems to make sense. I might as well not use the thing until I'm at the end of cover because I'm still crouched down. Where are these douchebags going to be? Oh, there's one there, shit. Mark, hold down space down and then aim at the highlighted area, then press what? That makes sense. Something's here. I just killed your friend, douchebag. Show it's very useful when you want to move around unseen. However, it doesn't make a noise when you arrive at your destination, a noise that could attract nearby enemies. Later you can reduce the volume of this noise. Am I gonna get shot here? Ah oh, man, now I'm imagining <laughs> things. There's, there's a box it's just perfectly covering where each enemy kill makes you experience points. If you manage to cross a number of areas without triggering an alarm, you. Okay. Now available. As I did there. Shit! The fuck are you? Your worst nightmare. Uh. Okay, so use the select the healing power. You're better to learn additional powers as we go on. Okay. Press Q to heal your wounds immediately. Okay. I went pretty well. I like that. I can deal with that. There's more guys though. When an opponent sees a comrade's body, he immediately turns aggressive and starts to look for you. In order to avoid this, you should hide the bodies of slain enemies. Target the corpse and hold down a left click to move it. Down. Okay. I've got to drag it there, I guess. Hi, <laughs> dude. What are you doing? It's way down over here. Okay, we got this douchebag here. How are we gonna get him? Oh, he's gonna look away. He's left around the corner. With the shadow leap, you can easily teleport yourself onto ledges. Press and hold down space to target the ledge, then press. Okay, so. As a vampire, your senses are much fine than those of a normal person. Hold left control to activate your vampire vision. Oh, that's really cool. I like that a lot. Okay, guys. Well, this seems like the main place to stop for now, I guess. We've been going for like 20 minutes or so. I think that's a good time to end the video. Can I save here? Save two left. What does that mean? Am I only allowed to save twice in the tutorial? Oh, I am. Shit. Okay, never mind. 
Maybe I should press on a little bit more. There are auto saves. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh no, I can say okay, every checkpoint I get another set of two saves. Oh that's pretty cool actually. In which case I'm gonna leave the game here. If you uh, enjoyed, please give a like, a favourite, a comment, let me know what you thought so far. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Um likes are really important on the first episode of a series, guys, so if you could really reach out and press that like button just once. Or dislike if you didn't enjoy it, which is fair enough. Um then uh please do so. Bye for now, Mixlings. I will see you in the next episode of Dark, which will probably be tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.